In today's video, we're going to be talking about when you can expect to see your first freeze. So this is a video that we do every single year. People usually look forward to it. I love talking about these seasonal topics. Uh, it's very fun for me. It's kind of that time of year where we're talking about first freeze, fall foliage, that type of deal. So we are going over all of those topics through the year. I think we've gone over most of them. We do have our snowfall forecast exclusively in our business prestige weather that you can check out in the description and the pinned comment down below. We do early access to all of our seasonal and monthly videos, just like this one that was released over there before I'm releasing it now on the channel. Uh, the winter forecast as well will be released over there. So really, really exciting stuff. We also do weekly consulting calls among other things. So be sure to check it out. It's five bucks and it's in the description and pinned comment down below. Let's get into things and we're gonna take this layer by layer using our old maps. We will transition into the new maps in a minute, but late August, so already passed for a lot of these areas in the Rockies, so the highest elevation areas in the Rockies, and then here for portions of Oregon. Uh, so we can see that that is taking place there or has already taken place most likely, especially with some of the negative PNA that we've seen. So some cooler conditions have taken place in here, certainly leading towards probably an earlier than normal freeze for some folks. As we take a look at early September, which we're right around that early September timeframe, mid-September timeframe at September 14th today. So that is definitely... Uh, right around the time of year that we're in now. I'm still sick, by the way, so you can probably hear that in my voice. Uh, we see these pink areas. We have a couple of states being included here in the central and the eastern states now, where we expect early September to be when we see our first freeze. So all of these pink areas between September 1st and September 15th is generally when you're watching for your first freeze to take place. Now, as we add on another layer, this is the late September layer, and this is going to be from anywhere from September 15th, so coming up very soon, all the way through the end of September, we will be watching these areas. So northeast here, we see a lot of these mountainous regions in the northeast. Um, we could see also areas out west into the north central United States, so we see a lot of these areas as well included uh, in that late September time frame. As we keep going... Here we can see the early October time frame. This is going to be October 1st through the middle point of October, so about October 15th. For these light blue areas, things are going to be really, really cooling down by this point, and we will be watching very, very closely for our first freeze in these areas to take place. During that time frame, um, we are quickly approaching the midpoint of fall, which will be again around that mid-October time frame, and I can't believe we're knocking on the doorstep of that time of year already. Certainly very, very intriguing, very interesting, and I just can't believe we're that far along into the year so far. It's just been flying by, I feel like. This summer was just so, so short feeling, and we're already into fall. I think it's a part of getting older, though. I've always heard that, so I think every single year feels quicker and quicker. Uh, very depressing to think about, but that is the truth of it. Late October for a lot of these areas here in the darker blue, so more of a navy blue here. We see the west that it's a very thin layer there. But for a lot of the plains, the Ohio Valley, uh, the mid-Atlantic and northeast, Great Lakes uh, also for kind of Ohio there. Uh, the mid-Atlantic in here, a lot of these bigger mid-Atlantic cities are involved, so we're certainly seeing plenty of areas dealing with their first freeze during this time of year as well. So we're gonna be on the lookout for that. As we move on and take a look at this green layer, this is gonna be your early November timeframe layer, and that's gonna be anywhere from about November 1st through November 15th. So a very, very interesting, um, very, very interesting time of year for a lot of the weather. I've always noted that October, kind of the later portion of October through the end of November is a very, very transitional time of year. It's hard for me to make videos actually oftentimes during that time of year because hurricanes are slowing down. There's no snowstorms yet. So you're kind of caught in between where there's not a whole lot going on. There's a very similar season time of year to that in the spring where there's no snow anymore, but no severe weather yet. And that's also a very, very slow time of the year. So we will be seeing a lot of these areas in Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and all the way up through Eastern Virginia. 
seeing their first freeze during this time of year. Let's keep going, and as we take a look here, this is going to be your November 15th or later time frame area in this kind of lime green area. We see a lot of coastal uh, California involved here, southern Texas, southern Louisiana, southern Mississippi, southern Alabama, portions of Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina as well here in the November 15th or later. So at the very, very southern end of this, we see averages for first freeze in some point during late December into January, so the very coldest time of year entirely. We see a lot of areas seeing their first freeze during that time frame. Um, and then areas outside of this colored area may not expect to see a freeze at all. So for some areas in Southern California, Southern Arizona, Southern Texas, Louisiana, and a bit of Florida there, some of these areas are so tropical that on average they don't even see a single freeze happen. So definitely there is some areas where we talk about that. Now as we get into the precipitation here, uh, we can see that we expect below average precipitation in the northern areas. We're just going to dive through our entire fall forecast here for context. So even though precipitation has nothing to do with freeze, I was like, why take it out? You know, I'll just show you guys so you don't have to watch the fall forecast video. But we expect drier conditions here for a lot of the north. This is very typical of an El Nino. And then we see above average precipitation for a lot of the southwest, the southeast, the deeper south, and all the way up the coastal east coast there. Uh, so for some of the mid-atlantic the northeast as well we see some above average precipitation conditions expected and this comes both in the form of tropical activity and in the form of nor'easters that are likely to start forming uh, during this time of year now temperatures which are a little bit more relevant to the freeze discussion we do expect above normal temperatures to prevail here along the west so for a lot of arizona there uh, new mexico nevada uh, we see Utah, Idaho, Washington, Oregon, and California here, all included in this above average temperature area, where overall we expect above average temperatures to really, really prevail here. Now, as we take a look here at the below average temperatures, we see this is taking over a lot of the central and the eastern states, where we're going to see these frequent cool downs moving through Arctic blasts at times as well. Uh, and this could lead towards an earlier freeze. I don't know if I said this, but the above average areas, we certainly could see a later than average freeze. But the below average area here, we could see an earlier than normal first freeze. So as it pertains to what everything that we've kind of just talked about, I think this is certainly very, very relevant and could play a big time role in what we expect to see over the coming months. And Certainly, I'm looking forward to it. It's been a long, hot summer. It felt very short, but for a lot of you in areas like Texas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, I know it has been extremely hot and probably an extremely long summer. So a lot of you are probably looking forward to this. I'm certainly very excited for the fall time and eventually the winter time. I love the holidays and I love moving closer towards that time of year. Definitely hoping I feel better for you know the videos to come, but we're gonna take it slow. I know it's kind of slowed me down and made my voice a little bit less exciting, but you guys have been so encouraging in the comments. I so appreciate all of you so much. Thank you for watching. We do upload videos just like this one every single day. You can even hit the bell icon for daily notifications when we upload so you never miss one. Be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.